He's not a monster. He's not a machine, but in the words of Arnold Schwarzenegger, in the words of the Terminator, Braun Strowman says, I'll be back. Welcome back, guys. Dave Fogg Wrestling, and we're here to confirm that Braun Strowman is, in fact, out. He might come back, he might not, but he will not be appearing on WWE television for about approximately a full year. What does this mean for Braun Strowman? What does this mean for WWE? And what does this mean for wrestling in general? Probably at the moment, not a lot. Braun Strowman's return has been an absolute failure. He came back in his red skinny jeans. He'd done absolutely nothing for months and months and months, apart from look like a big, stupid bitch. And then he ended up getting in a mini feud with Ricochet before teaming up with Ricochet. And now they have the bloody weirdest, just like, you know, unlikeliest tag team pairing of all time. So, Braun Strowman's gone. He's going to be out for a year while he gets neck fusion surgery. I'm sure this will free Ricochet up now to have another solos run, to have another run that goes absolutely nowhere. But for Braun Strowman, it's going to be a year on the shelf. And this is what Strowman had to say via Instagram. This is his message to the WWE Universe. So, Strowman says, and I quote, Road to recovery starts now. Level 1 fusion on my C4, C5 vertebrae was in the great hands of Dr. Cordova at the Andrew Sports Medicine. Was a great experience considering. Thank you to at WWE for always taking the utmost care of us. This was the very scary to find out having to have done and that they were every step of the way reassuring that I was going to take the best care possible. This will take a little bit of time to heal from, but I assure you, in the words of the Terminator, I'll be back. Thank you all in advance for the well wishes. End of quote. So look guys, Braun Strowman did make a little bit of a, a an error there, but I think he was trying to say was it was very scary to find out what's happened to him but he's glad that and he's reassured that he's been taken care in the best possible way by the WWE so that's what Braun Strowman wanted to say we got there in the end like I can accept Asuka fuck it up because she can barely speak English but come on Braun you big retard what's your <laughs> I mean what's your excuse what's your problem anyway Braun Strowman, Adam Shear, I'll be the first to say, I thought this guy in 2017, I thought this guy was a monster heel. I legit thought this guy was going somewhere. This was probably the most legitimate monster heel we'd seen in years. Probably, alright, okay, Rusev was pretty good, but I think, I think Braun Strowman surpassed Rusev big time. I think he was better than Rusev by a mile. I mean, I'd, I'd probably put Braun Strowman up there with, like, the era of Umaga, Great Kali, Big Daddy V, Mark Henry, guys like that. Braun Strowman legit felt like a fucking guy that was going to tear people limb from limb in around that 2017 period. When he left the Wyatt family and he started getting in a feud with Roman Reigns, you know, that was crazy. He just would not let Roman Reigns go. He followed Roman Reigns. He tracked Roman Reigns. He stopped Roman Reigns and he wanted to destroy Roman Reigns every single week. But Something happened, man, and I don't quite know what it is, but Braun Strowman is not the same Braun Strowman he used to be. His careers went downhill. He started showing what he is, exposing himself on social media as a big crybaby, a big bitch, essentially. And I just don't think he's recovered from that. So, yeah, Braun Strowman, look, sucks that he's out. I mean, he's had an okay WWE career. He's been a world champ. He's been this, he's been that. But... Honestly, it could have been better, and it should have been better from Braun Strowman, but he's disappointed. You know, he's disappointed, I think, himself, probably, with what's happened. He, he left in bad terms. He did come back, but just like every other Triple H return in the company, his return has been a failure. So, yeah, you know, I'm not going to hate Braun Strowman. I'm not a Braun Strowman hater. I think this guy had potential, but unfortunately, I think that potential's done now. He is, what, nearly 40 years old now. This is a serious injury, so, I mean, it'll be interesting to see how he comes back from this if he comes back from this. Who says he will not? Like, I think we will see Braun Strowman in the ring. I think he will wrestle again, but I don't think he will be a full-time performer. I think those days might be gone, and him being a main offender, I think, is certainly gone. Could we see another Braun Strowman title run in the future? Like, in the long future when he comes back? I mean, who knows? But I think his time as a top guy in WWE might have been done. But look, you know what? In a weird way, this might actually be good for Braun Strowman. Takes him off TV. I think people are sick of him. His tag team with Ricochet was not only going nowhere, but it was killing any credibility the guy had left. So, you know what? Maybe him 
taking some time away from WWE, even though it's not through his own, you know, um, methods or whatever, you know, it's not his own choice, he is he's obviously been put on the shelf here, but who knows, it might turn out to be a good thing for him in the end. But that's it guys, Braun Strowman out for about approximately a year, maybe a little more than a year, we'll just have to wait and see. Sucks for him, but here, I don't think it's a career ending injury, but it's a, it's a pretty damn serious one, so hopefully Braun Strowman gets better soon. Anyway guys, that's it, let, you, let me know your thoughts on Braun Strowman, are you a Braun Strowman fan, do you like Braun Strowman, do you think Braun Strowman had potential to be better than he was, and yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Till then, peace.